I got a bone to pick with the Freedom From Religion Foundation. We're talking about that next on One Nation. Hello, America. I'm Dr. Jake Jacobs. Now that we are in full holiday season mode, beware of the notorious FFRF and their war on Christmas. Christ and the Judeo-Christian foundation of our nation, our wonderful constitutional republic under God. FFRF, or the Freedom From Religion Foundation, out of Madison, Wisconsin, declares in their website that their purpose is, quote, to promote the constitutional principle of separation of state and church and to educate the public on matters relating to non-theism, end quote. They spend millions of dollars every year paying legal fees, contesting our Christian heritage in various government institutions, from removing prayer in public schools to removing the Ten Commandment monuments from public lands. They also love to disseminate hundreds of billboard advertisements about the evil nature of Christ, Christianity, and that our founders were not Christian and that our republic was not established under God. Now the problem with the Freedom From Religion Foundation and their apostles of atheism is that they have to lie and deceive over and over again to achieve their stated goals. They take kernels of truth, snippets of truth, out of context, creating a pretext that is a false text. Thus, they ultimately design a bogus narrative about the Christian worldview of our presidents and the founding of our great republic under God. Let me give you just a couple of examples related to our presidents. They love to display a billboard with a quote by President John F. Kennedy where he says, quote, I believe in an America where the separation of church and state is absolute, end quote. Through their lying propaganda billboards, FFRF wants Americans to believe that President Kennedy believed in a very strict and high wall of separation of church and state. Nothing could be further from the truth. The public Democrat President Kennedy invoked God and our Judeo-Christian heritage all the time. One excellent example is in his classic 1961 inaugural address, when in dealing with the militant atheism of the Soviet Union, JFK declares, reflecting Thomas Jefferson's words in the Declaration of Independence, that, quote, the rights of man come not from the generosity of the state, but from the hand of God. JFK was sounding very much like the Democratic president, Harry S. Truman, who in his 1948 inaugural address, dealing with the militant atheism of communism, the butcher Joseph Stalin, declared to the world, quote, we believe that all men are created equal because they're created in the Im image of God. Our public president, Harry S. Truman, was actually quoting from the great book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 26, where Moses tells us that man is wonderfully made in the imago Dei, or the image of God. The Freedom From Religion Foundation loves to quote President Ronald Reagan out of context to advance their atheistic, bogus, balderdash, balarney. One of their Reagan billboards they have him say out of context is, quote, we establish no religion in this country. Church and state are and must remain separate. That quote of President Reagan comes from his October 26, 1984 speech to the Jewish congregation of Temple Israel and Valley Stream, New York. Just like President Washington's letter to the Jewish congregation of Newport, Rhode Island in 1790, President Reagan was reinforcing the First Amendment's right of non-Christians to worship freely. In both Washington's letter and Reagan's speech, they stressed our common Judeo-Christian traditions, and they even called upon the God of Israel to bless America. And of course, the Freedom From Religion Foundation very conveniently likes to forget that President Reagan loved to say over and over again, quote, if we never forget that we are one nation under God, then we will be a nation gone under. My fellow Americans, during this Christian holiday season, let us thank the God of Israel for our abundant blessings, and let us teach the truth of our one nation under God so our children and our citizens are not fooled by the lies like organizations like Freedom From Religion Foundation. God bless us, and until next week, always remember, the truth shall set you free. If you thought that was cool, check out more videos on freedomproject.com.
you'll enjoy them.